Welcome to the second episode of the Flight Tuber Flight School series and I'm very happy to bring to you this series and in today's video I'm going to be showing uh, to you guys how to climb or descend uh, a Cessna 172 aircraft. Now before you watch this video I highly recommend to go back and watch the previous video on the ground school series wherein I uh, talked about the same topic climb and descent but that was the theory part and explaining the concept of how actually an aircraft climbs or descends and if you watch that video and then if you watch this video it will be a better experience because you will be understanding what we are doing much more better so if you guys are ready fasten those seat belts because we are ready for takeoff What's up fellow viewers and welcome back to the Flytuber flying simplified through YouTube. My name is Ali Asghar and on this channel I talk about interesting aviation facts and aircraft knowledge and you know aircraft theory especially in the ground school series and in this flight school series I talk about uh, you know how aircraft actually operates from the cockpit. So if you are interested in any of those topics and if you are new here you might want to consider subscribing. Now considering that you have already watched that previous video on uh, you know the ground school series on climbs and descents let's continue with uh, the flight school section and uh, we are right now in the Cessna uh, 172 aircraft it's a beautiful aircraft we are right now flying somewhere uh, southwest of Seattle airport uh, and we are in the cockpit and obviously I have talked about these basic instruments before uh, so for climbing and descending the main instrument that we are going to look at is this boy here it's called as the attitude indicator and I've talked about that in the previous video on the flight school series anyways which you can see there are different horizontal markings right uh, uh, in the attitude indicator each of these markings is 5 degrees so starting from the horizon the first line will be 5 degrees nose up and then there will be 10 degrees 15 20 degrees and so on and so forth similarly uh, you know uh, downwards there are you know uh, 5 10 15 degrees uh, you know nose down attitude so this particular these lines show what uh, direction your nose is pointing and you know you use this uh, one to determine uh, and you know start a climb and descend the other very two important instruments that help let you know that whether you are climbing or descending or you know help you to climb or descend is first is obviously your altimeter if you were climbing then uh, you know the foot uh, hand of this uh, uh, altimeter would be increasing or de uh, you know, decreasing uh, right now it's stagnant it's stationary so that means that we are not climbing neither are we descending and obviously the vertical speed indicator so your vertical speed of the aircraft it's not uh, you know it's at zero as you can see here right now so that means that you are neither climbing nor descending so right now we are in straight and level flight I've talked about this straight and level flight in the previous uh, video on the flight school series now let's start a climb so to start a climb obviously you will you know uh, hold this control column and then you will pull it towards yourself so just think that once you pull the control column towards yourself the aircraft will go in a nose up attitude so let's do it slow and steady and uh, you can see that in the attitude indicator the uh, the pitch attitude or the way that the aircraft is pointing the aircraft nose is pointing will start going up so that is how you start a climb and you can see that right now we are somewhere about 10 degrees nose up in the attitude indicator and uh, and you can see and confirm from the vertical speed indicator uh, down here that uh, your uh, you know uh, you are registering somewhere about 500 foot per minute of climb and obviously the minute uh, sorry the foot hand of your altimeter is also climbing so all of these uh, confirm that the aircraft is right now in a climb and to descend it's other way around you push the control column forwards and uh, you know the result will be that your uh, nose will start pointing down your attitude indicator will show a nose down and then that's how you descend and the same can be confirmed from the vertical speed indicator and also the altimeter so let's start a descent and i push the control column forward slowly and you can see in the attitude indicator that your nose has started pointing down towards the earth right now and right now we are somewhere you know five degrees nose down five or ten degrees right so that is how you initiate a descent and how all this happens and how you pushing or pulling the control column will affect the elevators behind how they will deflect i have talked about in the uh, ground school uh, series of the same topic all right so we are in a straight and level flight right now and we are not climbing or descending 
Now the next thing that I want you guys to notice is when I start a climb, the air speed will reduce. Why? I have talked about that in down school series, but you have to you know uh, see uh, what effect uh, does climbing have on your air speed. So this is your air speed indicator. Once we start climbing, okay, slowly, you see that the air speed starts decreasing, right? And on the other way, exactly, uh, you know, on the contrary, if you start pushing the aircraft nose downwards, that is, if you start descending, you can see that the air speed starts increasing, right? That's so amazing. And uh, to know the theory behind it, why does uh, that happen? Obviously, watch that other video. Now, let's say that we have to continuously climb for 2,000 or 4,000 feet and all that while we can't just uh, let the airspeed drop. So, in that case, what we do is we add power to compensate the loss in speed. So, let's do that quickly. We start increasing the pitch. Oh, not so fast, but yeah. We start increasing the pitch and you, you see that the airspeed is dropping. Right now, it's going close to somewhere about uh, uh, 80 knots, but I wanted the airspeed to be at 90 knots. So, what we do is we add power. And once you add power, you see that the airspeed has started uh, to climb up once again. And once the uh, dial, uh, the speed dial comes at 90 knots, you know, that's how you climb at 90 knots. Uh, so we apply power first and then we adjust the pitch and then the trim in the last watt trim is, I'll uh, spare it for another video. And one last thing for today's video is that all of this that I taught you right now is uh, how you can climb or descend at a particular speed here in the airspeed indicator. But we are not, uh, you know, interested in flying at a particular airspeed, but rather we would want to, uh, you know, climb or descend at a particular vertical speed. You know, uh, why is that? Is you know, sometimes ATC have restrictions or you know, it's ATC requests to follow certain, uh, you know, climb path or you know, climb rate. And the other reason is that you know, climbing or descending too fast will be you know uh, uncomfortable for the passengers or you know even if you're in a Cessna it will be uncomfortable for you yourself and then you know another reason that I can think of is that if you climb or descend at a particular pre-fixed uh, you know vertical speed that will be a lot more easier for you to predict where you will be so if you know that you are climbing at 1000 feet per minute you know that in 10 minutes from now you will be 10,000 feet higher right that's so simple speed is equal to distance by time so yeah that is why more often than not we are interested in climbing or descending at a particular fixed uh, uh, vertical speed so let me show you how you do that and the you know basic secret behind that is that to increase your vertical speed you will increase power and to reduce your vertical speed you will decrease the power uh, so let's quickly see a climb so right now aircraft is level at about 5600 feet let's start a climb i'll add power first the natural tendency of the aircraft will be to pitch up and then I'll pull slowly on the control column towards myself and the aircraft starts climbing. It's about 10 degrees nose up and you see right now that uh, the vertical speed is somewhere about 700 feet per minute and I want the aircraft to be 500 feet per minute. Okay, climbing at 500 feet per minute. So I reduce the power just a tad bit. Okay, you can uh, hear the uh, you know reduction in the engine noise as well and that is how see you can see right now in the vertical speed indicator the the uh, the dial is fixed at 500 feet per minute the aircraft is beautifully climbing at 500 feet per minute stuck over there and the uh, airspeed indicator is also somewhere about 85 knots none of the dials are moving except for the altimeter because obviously your altitude is increasing and the same way for the descent you can do as well if you uh, want to descend and then you, if you want to change uh, your vertical speed then you know reduce the power so yeah uh, same way if you want to if you want to increase the vertical speed right now from 500 to say 1000 feet per minute i'll increase the power and you can see that your vertical speed gradually starts you know increasing And that is how you uh, climb or descend at a particular vertical speed. And finally to summarize, if you want to climb or descend at a particular speed, then the aircraft pitch, that is how much degrees your uh, nose is pointing up or down is the main factor. You need to control your pitch to control your airspeed. And if you want to uh, you know, climb or descend at a particular vertical speed, then your friend in that case would be the aircraft power, how much uh, the power or the aircraft engine is producing. So that is the basic explanation of how you climb or descend uh, in a Cessna 172 aircraft. That is a basic explanation uh, and a basic 
view from the cockpit of how we guys climb and in the aircraft and i hope that you guys also get to do the same very soon well that's it for this video guys i hope that you guys liked the video if you did hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and share these videos with as many friends as possible if you have got any doubts feel free to put them down in the comment box and i'll be trying to answering them and that's it for this video i'll be signing off take care and happy landings until the next flight